Hello everybody. Hi. So we wanted to talk to you guys today. If you're getting new bees and you've never done that before, pickup can be a little intimidating, a little scary. Um, we do wear our suits because we've had them come out of the cages while you're driving and that can be very distracting for the driver. <laughs> <laughs> um, especially if you're by yourself and you don't have a partner with you to spray them with the sugar water down or anything. So we, do, we do bring sugar water with us to have. And nobody told us that you know, I mean, I guess you should just know to wear your suit. Some people do, some people don't, but we decided to when we had them explode in our car. Always better safe than sorry. That's yeah. what we figure. Especially if you're traveling a ways. And another thing that people don't think about, today's a rainy day and we see people picking up with pickup trucks. Um, if it unleashes like it could and it has been off and on all morning, their bees will be dead before they get home. Yes. Um, never put them in the trunk of a <laughs> no. car either. We've seen that happen. They're just like, I mean, they're like any animal. They have to have oxygen. They need air. You cannot put them in a trunk and expect them to live. And the back of a truck, even on a warm day, isn't very safe too. I mean, it's just like, you know, blow you away. Their wings, little wings get <laughs> yeah. ripped off with a certain draft. So yes. we've had people lose bees in trucks. We've had, we've seen, we've heard of people losing bees in trunks. And on a day like today, when it's unleashing rain uh truck's definitely not a good idea nope. so that. they are just sitting back here in the back of our vehicle you can see they have plenty of air it goes all the way back if they're not closed up in there and one thing for sure to know and expect is you will have clingers okay they're the bees on the outside of the cage that they'll get a little comfortable once in the vehicle and they'll start coming to the front yes they will fly around in your vehicle now today we don't right now we can't see we have eight hives back there and we don't know if we have as many clingers as we did last year just because it's, it's been raining. raining all day. And so I think maybe a lot of the clingers um, has been brushed off and maybe didn't make it with the group this yes. time. Let's just put it and that way. They did pick up a little different for us this year because of COVID-19 going on. Um, we weren't allowed to get out of our vehicle. They put them in our vehicle and before they put them in our vehicle, they did brush them off um, with a bee brush. So that might be something you might want to think about bringing with you. If you're afraid of having clingers in your car before you load them in your vehicle, you could take your bee brush and brush them off before you put them in your vehicle. That would be an option too. Also, if you are a new beekeeper, people might, this happened to us our first year where they actually gave us Africanized bees. Mm -hmm. And nobody believed us. They thought we were being exaggerating because it was our first year and we didn't know what to expect, but we were driving with Africanized bees in the car. Which was very scary. <laughs> Luckily, Which they is were one disoriented. Reason why we wear our suits now. That is why we wear our suits. You we don't know. don't know. These, these are coming from, uh, what is it? these are germ or from the Georgia I peach think, orchards? I think so, yeah, and you just don't know. I mean, they're they're supposed to be Italian, but in those orchards, like as a, you know, they can be mixed with anything, really. You just don't know what if that queen went out and mated with the drone that was Africanized. You have a 50 50 chance that your queen you have is nice or mean <laughs> until you get to know your hive because every hive has its own personality, and you'll, you'll realize that right away. You just don't know. And when I'm driving, going down an interstate, I don't want an Africanized swarm attacking my face where I can't run <laughs> or jump out of my no. car and roll. No. Um, so that's why we wear suits, just because we had a really bad experience with it last year. Not yes. everybody has that. Some people can go probably their whole life of beekeeping Never and not have. pick up an Africanized hive in the back of their car. Yeah. So that's just our experience. Yes. And we're going to walk you through some easy installations because it can be intimidating your first year. Yes. So, so we're we gonna haul these guys home. We have about an hour drive home. So um, that's another reason why you might bring some sugar water. If they're low on food, you can spray them and that does give them a little bit of food until you can get them installed into your hive. And if it's nice out and you spray them, it keeps their wings kind of coated where they're not flying up in your face while you're going down the interstate. Because yes. that will happen. It will. So again, I would avoid truck pickup unless you have like a tarp maybe, but on rainy days, I would completely avoid a truck really the trunk of the car is not a good no, idea. No, do either. not do the trunk. You're better better just to put them in your back seat of your car than putting them in your trunk, really. Yeah. If you want your bees to, to make it. Yes. So, so, we'll be back. We're going to show you how installation can be super easy and without being damaging to the bees.